Hello. Uh, while my uh, steak's cooking there, I thought I'd take the opportunity to give you a quick 300 mile review on my Rome 3. Um, look at my previous video. I bought a Rome 3 back in March. I used it a bit. I, I've now picked up my pace, so on this Rome 3 has got me from doing no cycling to cycling sort of 20 mile rides a couple of times a week. So it's really good if you want a bike which is going to get you somewhere with cycling. Um, so this is my Rome 3. And 300 miles in. Well, it's 320 miles now. Things that I like about it. I like the fact that it's sturdy. For me, I'm a not a small chap and it being a bike which can take a bit of rough and tumble is a good it's a good start so I've had no problems with the handling of it I've done a few bits of trails as well and it's handled that as well really good things that I've changed out of the, out of the out since I got it from you so things I've added I've added a saddlebag see my previous video on that I've changed the stock pedals to these pedals, these are quite expensive ones but they've got internal bearings but they're really good, aluminium ones um, I've changed the stock tyres to 32mm uh, Schwibble Marathon tyres they are really good and really fast what else have I changed? Um, I've got two computers around at the moment this is my new computer uh, which you'll see from my other videos and this is the computer I bought with the bike this will get taken off eventually and I'll just stick with this. This is just while I'm getting used to this computer that one's staying on there. Things have gone wrong with it since I've had it are this integral bell just doesn't work. It broke the first couple of days I had the bike. It's never worked. Went in for service today and they said they couldn't fix this because they didn't have the parts but what they've done they put a bell on so that's fine with me. That's absolutely fine. Um, the other thing that happened it went in for service today and one of the reasons it went in is because the bottom bracket was wobbly um, that's just a wear and tear thing but it was wobbly so they fixed it, it's absolutely fine the, free, the first service was free so, no, so that's absolutely fine so there was no issues with that um, oh, I've also added these these bar ends, it's quite a simple job but it gives you some extra riding positions um, all in all, really impressed with the bike it's served me really well. It's got me into cycling. I can keep up with some people on road bikes. Um, but then I can also turn on the suspension. Because you have got a lock out there. You can also turn on the suspension and take it down some fairly sort of low-key trails. Conclusion. Really good bike to get going with. Really sturdy. It's a great bike. It is a really good bike. Um, I'm getting to the point now where I think I would appreciate a road bike. So this one will probably do me this year, this season. Moving into next season, um, if I can save some enough money, I'll be looking at the Giant Defy 1, which is a lovely bike. Um, so I need to convince the wife that I'm allowed to spend a £1,000 on it. So there we go. 300 mile review. Nothing to say apart from brilliant bike. If you're thinking about getting it, if you're thinking about getting back into cycling, just do it. Fabulous. Absolutely fabulous. The Rome 3 was the one with the standard brakes. They're good. They're good. Once you get them set up, fine. They're brilliant. So, and then you can step up to the next one, the Rome 2, which has got the disc brakes. I don't see a reason for that, just for the general cycling I do. There we go then. Quick review. Steak is almost done. I'm just going to enjoy that now. There we go. Anyway, so take care, talk to you later, I'll keep up to date with some reviews on the bike, and if I change my bike or anything I change on my bike, I will let you know. Bye-bye. Okay,